All right, geologists. So today we're going to talk about the causes of volcanoes, um, and then we're going to go a little bit into volcano anatomy. So to start off with, this is mostly revision. Uh, you have two plates colliding, and this creates a subduction zone. Okay, so here we have friction melting the rock, and because the liquid takes up just takes up more space than a solid, the pressure builds up, and it's easy to push through the last. 40 kilometers of earth than it is, you know, the thousands of kilometers down. So it pushes up, then we come up through here, we have a central vent, and some more as you get towards the top, cracks out to the sides. Okay, so here's oceanic crust, continental crust coming together, and there are our volcanoes. So that's, that's how a subduction zone causes a volcano. Now, if we want to look at the anatomy, okay, we'll start off with, we have a magma chamber, and sometimes it's like a drinking straw, sometimes it's more of a wide vent that goes up and it hits the top and out here we come with these called volcanic bombs. This is the central chamber or central vent. This is the Earth's crust and you see how it's just coming underneath the Earth's crust and pushing up through there. So this is our mountain um, central vent, side vent of smoke and this giant cloud is dust, ash, steam and the gas cloud. And that is the anatomy of a volcano, nice and simple. We'll try not to overload you too much today. All right. See you in class.